Tyler, Theater Design Co. So what we're going to do today on this video is do a uh, mock-up of a Samsung Frame TV install. So the only thing we're not going to do is physically lift the TV on there. Two guys or two gals would be needed to lift a 75 inch, which is what we're installing. Uh, we're going to do the wings. And we're not going to do the one connect because that's pretty self-explanatory. One connect sits in here. We've got power in here. You can have your network cable. Maybe you're going to have an arc adapter to run out to some audio speakers. But what we're going to do is use the new product from Install Template Co. And just see how fast we can put one of these in. So let's start now. First thing on this, we're going to do drop cloth. We do on that on any install we're doing. And then we've got our Install Template Co. product here. Again, this is a prototype that's patent pending. Then we got our basic tape and tape measure. So the customer here said they want the TV to come down 8 inches from the ceiling. So we're just going to take a little bit of tape here. So we'll pop this down to 8 inches. So that will be the height of our TV. Customers also stated that they wanted this box centered in the wall, so the framing and everything was centered for that. Now you may not have that option, but we're going to go here center. So we're going to take and make a center pencil mark. Take our Pika pencil. And we know our center is right there. And then our next steps, going to be even easier, is we have our level, we're going to put together our install template code device. So we've got left and right wings. These are going to be built out of acrylic, I've been told. And so this company's had about a dozen install companies now play around with these ideas, and everybody said it just saves a dramatic amount of time. And their final design has a sticker here that gives us a height of the TV, so top and bottom from this center slot. That center slot is the same one that Samsung uses on their TV template with a paper template and their instruction sheets. So what we're gonna do is we know with this indicator here, that's our center mark. And then grab my tape measure. And so we've got our measurement here. I'm gonna pull that down. And there's a couple different ways to do it. I can go off the ceiling on this because you're not going off the ceiling for level. So eight plus that, that's gonna give us our center mark. At that's the top of the TV, so that's where the customer wanted it. And then what we end up doing on that is take our level. So we get this thing nice and level. Check our center. Dropped a little bit, so again, come back in here. Okay, so hold that there. Now you can just hold that center with your front. You're not worried about the paper template going all over and crazy. Take and undo your chalk shot so it's ready to go. Fire that in the holes you want to use. In this case, we're going to do these two outer holes, which I always try to hit. We're going to use these two holes, give a little bit of strength on the bracket. Come over here on those. So we know that that's the top of our TV. We don't need to check that anymore. So we've got some other test holes here, but we've got a mark there for our bracket, outer bracket. And then again, marks for our bracket and outer bracket. We're actually done with our template, so we can put this back in our tool bag or our van. We don't need the level anymore except for a final level on the frame when you're done. And then at this point, I'm going to take a plastic bag. You've got your drop cloth down. Pull yourself off some tape, it's cheap. So then we're gonna take and go like this. So we've just gained some serious dust control. What I like to do on this second part, just take a quick confirmation with the Samsung wings. So here we have brand new Samsung wing. What we want to do is just pull this out of the bag. 
And so we're going to check and make sure that our install marks line up. So you can see we got perfect marks on those and those. Just, they're just perfectly dialed in. So we're good to go on those. And then what we're going to do to mount these is the togglers. So quarter inch is what I use. So quarter inch togglers, and if you haven't seen the toggler before, they're super cool. I like the ones from Lowe's or you can get on Amazon, but that's a toggler, and then it uses a quarter 20 bolt, which works perfect for the Samsung. So we're going to go ahead and pull out eight of those. That's four per side. And then we're going to get four of these. Again, they're quarter 20. If you had drywall or something that was tripled up for sound installation, you can buy longer ones of these. Put those back, throw those in the van when we're done. And then our next step, we're going to take a half inch drill bit, drill. And if you had an installer with you or some other tools, you could throw a vacuum on here. We, we know we got a drop cloth and clean, so we're gonna clean that up. We're gonna hit this one here. You can see we're making pretty minimal dust anyway. And then I like to leave the bag up, leave our drill there how it is. Again, you're gonna use your toggler. Slides right in. This is even an insulated wall. Break your tab off. Rinse and repeat. And I can tell you right now, this is half inch drywall with this spread on the mount. You could probably hang even an articulating arm. We would never do that. But the TV vertically coming down is literally impossible. Now, if you could hit any of these holes in a joist or a stud, excuse me, obviously do that. But for speed of this video and speed in general out on jobs, this is the more accurate and safe way to do it. We really pretty much don't have any more dust. I'm gonna drop this back over. Gonna hit our other holes here. done with that drill 100%, throw that in the tool bag, grab our Hilties, and so I keep saying Hilti, Hilties is what we always call these in the industry, Hilties are togglers, Hilties are usually literally the Hilti brand from Lowe's, uh, excuse me, Hilti brand from Home Depot, toggler from Lowe's, and I know they sell togglers in bulk on Amazon. So again, just kind of zipping through this part of it. And so pull that off there. Bag is pretty much done now. We're not gonna have much of dust at all. We were working above like a super high-end fireplace or something like that. We may opt to keep that bag on there. So then all we're gonna do now is take our wings. We know that our center mark here, that's why we always start on this left, is the center of that bracket. So you can see just how much easier this is than getting out your drills and drilling into all that wood and all that stuff. So even when you got a little bit of a hurdle on that one where it was just off just a smidge, it's really not too big of an issue. So the trick you wanna do on that is that center of that bolt's gonna be centered. Put this one up, same exact way. OK, 
Okay, so again, center to there, but this is where you can take, and we've designed this so that you can take your tab here and your tab here and confirm your measurement. So mark our center, tap that over. Now you know that's perfectly dialed in. Tap that over. Those are absolutely perfect. And then you don't need to level these because there is enough leeway in that. Press and hold. Boom. So that one's done. Press and hold. So those wings are mounted. The other little, just last little trick I do is I just pull these out just a hair. Pull these out just a hair. That thing is literally ready to install a frame TV. We would have already had our one connect cable out. We get a guy or gal to help us. We hang the TV. That's it. So this is using the install template co and not the paper template co. And uh, we'll go from there and see just how much uh, time we saved on some of these. I've been doing a bunch of these test videos. You can see the green marks here. And we've been timing some of these. And then the feedback from the guys out in the field have been 10 to 25 minute savings. And then the accuracy is the biggest thing for them. They've said it's just absolutely perfect. So anything built into a niche or has real accurate dimensions, they don't have to fiddle around and pull the TV on and off a bunch of times. They just rock and roll and get it done the first try. So hopefully this helps you do two things, install a Samsung frame TV, and then possibly down the road, maybe you'll uh, purchase one of these install template code devices and uh, go from there and companies make some money and everybody does uh, some really nice installs. All right, thanks a lot.